In this video, we're going to walk you through using the Berry-tastic timers. In the bottom right hand corner of your app, you're going to see a timer section. You're going to click on timers, and it's going to bring you to a section like this. You'll notice at the very bottom, there is a uh, image or an icon of some lips. That's your bite timer. There's an image of a fork and an image of water as well. Um, you can click on any of those to set up your timers for that you would start after doing those things. For instance, after you eat, you would click on the fork and knife and then click start and it's going to count a down a timer uh, for 30 minutes. Typically that says do not drink and for the water timer, it's going to be the same thing um, except it'll say do not eat yet uh, if you've had water. For the bite timer, we're going to start with that. I'm going to show you how that works. Um, so first you're going to click on the mouth icon. Um, and then all you really need to do is click the start button. And the start button is going to start counting down um, your seconds. And during this time, you should, as the app indicates, chew, chew, chew. Uh, after 20 seconds, the timer is going to go off. And we're going to wait here for it to go off and show you what happens. Bite complete. And then you can click next bite and it's going to start the timer again and take you into your next bite. Uh, we're going to stop this here. We'll just hit pause. Uh, now what we're going to do is go into settings. Um, for the other items <clears throat> and for your time to chew, you can actually change these things in settings. And so I just clicked on the cog in the left hand corner. I'll show that again in just a second. And from here, you can scroll any of these things up. If I wanted to wait 45 minutes, if that's what my bariatric program tells me to do, I can change this to 45 minutes. Um, I can change the drinking to eat weight also to 45 minutes. Um, and we're just going to actually change this down to about one minute here for the drinking to eating weight. Um, you can change the message that shows after that item is complete as well. And then after you've made changes, you do want to make sure you just hit the save button. Now we're going to go back out and we're going to click on the bite timer, which is set for 45 minutes. Um, but instead we're going to move over to the water, which we've set just for one minute. And we're going to go ahead and click the start button there. Now, the nice thing with this is you can use your phone uh, if you want to, you don't have to stay in the app. So once you've started this, after you are done, drinking fluids um, and you know that a meal is coming up uh, you will click the start button and typically you're probably going to use the meal one a little bit more often because often after a meal is when we are thirsty and um, that is really kind of when we're waiting for our, to be able to eat and it's easy to forget my phone just went off there let me turn it back on um, now during this time if you wanted to you can go in and log what you're eating as well or what you just ate um, we always recommend you do it with the microphone or the barcode scan. And while we're waiting here, we'll go ahead and say half a cup of cottage cheese, six ounces of blueberries and a glass of milk. And let's just say we had that for breakfast. Um, and you can see here, if it pops up, uh, you can now eat. And so our timer just went off as we were doing those things. If you were using your phone, you would still get, get that alert. And now I know that I can drink. Um, and so that's really what the timers are for, um, keeping you on track and um, doing the things that you need to do in order to be successful. These timers can really be helpful, particularly the bite timer and particularly the wait till drinking timer um, while you're post-op. Thank you very much.